Snest Drunk. Hello and welcome to uh, Snest Drunk Plays Magic Sword. I am not all that familiar with this game at all. Not the arcade game, not the Super Nintendo version, not anything. So, uh, yeah, we're, I, I've played it a bunch of... Uh, a bunch of times when I first got it, which is a few years ago, I think I got it for like five bucks on eBay, um, and then I kind of never played it again. <laughs> so this is really the first time I'm playing this game in a really long time. Uh, let's take a look at the demo here. What kind of demo footage? Oh, Big Man! Yes, because he is big. <laughs> These are your compadres, your uh, companions that you rescue along the way. And they can level up just like you can, and they can uh, get more powerful weapons and kind of look different. Not sure why he's got Jean Grey's hair, but whatever. <coughs> oh yeah, I remember this now. The the C's in this game look like G's, so it sounds like is ingredibly adept with his spear and is your strongest ally. Yeah, the the C's look like G's and the G's look like C's. It's really strange. <laughs> Ninja. Yes, when I think of medieval stuff, I think of ninjas and fire. And, and, and hey, there's a Ryu Hayabusa. Fast but not so powerful. Story of my life. Just kidding. <laughs> the lag king in physical strength, but speed, but his mag... Ugh. What a, what a mess. <laughs> Crave damage? What? <laughs> Alright, we don't need any demo footage. Come on, let's get out of this. <laughs> let's take a look at the options. Yeah, we got that. Yeah, we got normal, hard, easy. Let's do normal, simple stuff here. Jump attack. No using the shoulder buttons at all. No using the A button at all. Kind of disappointing, you know. I guess the original game didn't have that much uh, abilities either, but uh, yeah, this is as simple as it gets. And you can start, if you want to, for whatever reason, uh, as high as the 33rd floor. Uh, but we're going to start at the beginning, because why not? Yeah, this game is looks nothing like the arcade game. Well, it, it looks like a pale imitation of the arcade game plays like a pale imitation of the arcade game, but this is as good as you were, as you were gonna get back in the day. The arcade game was so much faster and like so much more satisfying to play because you could just jump everywhere and move like so quickly. And there were tons more enemies. It's just a lot more satisfying to crank through. Who do we got here? Oh, we got the uh, the female character here that uh, shoots a crossbow. Ah, it's big guy. <laughs> yeah, you rescue people as you go um, by unlocking doors and stuff. But first, you gotta get keys. Why can't I hit this guy? What the hell is with that? <laughs> but yeah, your guy, your companion levels up just the same as you do. The more you kill stuff. Uh oh, boss time. It is a griffin of some kind. Thingy. Come on. Yeah, you see the life bar at the top. I didn't notice this, that this uh, game had a life bar at the top for the longest time for the, for the bosses. I never noticed. Boy, that beeping sure isn't annoying. What's a Falkeon? Fal Falgion? Falgion? I don't know. And we are already done with the opening stage. Are you ready to do that like 51 more times or however many levels there are in this game? Actually, there's only a boss like every five levels or so. Anyway, yeah, this game is nice looking enough. It's pretty good. It's just, it's the kind of game you just kind of zone out, hack and slash. Progress. It's a rela it's it's a relaxing hack hack and slash. <laughs> Oxymoron, if I've ever heard one. Who's behind door number three? Ah, it's Mr. Ninja. He's like all small looking. You know what? I just had a really dumb idea. Oh, this guy's good. This guy gets really strong when he levels up. 
but he makes the screen glitch out like a motherfucker. You know what I just... <laughs> It'd be cool if this game got the uh, indie treatment and it became... Um, yeah, see, the, that, that was one floor right there. Let's co and be careful. Okay, careful. Okay. Again with the Eastern Island head or Eastern Easter Island heads. I can't escape them. They're in Gradius. They're in this game. Jesus. Anyway, what I was saying was, um, if this game got like a ROM hack for this game, that's what I mean to say, not indie. A perfect ROM hack for this game is if you were to put like other characters for other games in this. Uh, Hey, that guy threw a lobster. Give me that lobster. Oh, it's a Bomberman guy. Yeah, see, instead of this guy, it could be Super bo it could be a Super Bomberman character. You could have Mario in there. You could have uh, Link. You could have uh, Rescue Samus. You could rescue, like, Donkey Kong or Diddy Kong. Ken or Ryu from Street Fighter. That'd be pretty cool. Mega Man would be awesome in this game. Hey, it's, ca it's a Capcom game. Um, what else was I going to say? You could even do, uh, like, make it even more ridiculously stupid and have, like, I don't know, like, TV actors or something like that, or movie actors. Just rescue Steve Buscemi. Have him follow you around. I've already, I've already used that name. I've already used Steve Buscemi for something. The poisonous mushroom will m mum you? Numb you? Mum gum. Hmm. The music sounds urgent, but I don't think we're at a boss fight yet. That's a misleading music. Anyway, um, let's see here. Yeah, I want to stick with this guy because he gets really strong when you level up. He's only at level up one right now. You see at the bottom there it says L1. Obviously, that means level one. Uh, we're going to want to stick with him for a little while so we can... Um, he, his attack gets really, really strong. I don't even know what level I'm on. What level is this now? Oh, we're on to level four. Something wig kid. All right. Ah, we're back to normal level music. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't get it either. <laughs> Ooh, fairies. Leaving me grapes and whatever that was. Yeah, pretty standard stuff. Oh, now we're at the boss. Okay. I am of the line of the great, or Crete, Draken. I'll put an end to your little adventure. That's a quality villain line. Your pitiful little band. All right. I wonder if there's a, I'm sure there's some hipster band out there named Pitif Pitiful Little Band based off of the, the line from Return of the Jedi. If, if. If it hasn't happened yet, I'd be very surprised. Or at least have that be a, uh... I'm not gonna last long here. God, that sound makes the Link to the Past beeping sound pleasant by comparison. Yeah, let's continue. Let's take care of this guy. Oh, I'm hacking the shit out of this guy, but he's not taking much damage. His life meter's not even going down. Look at this. You just stand up here and hack away. Yeah, I'm one of those guys, when, when I play games like this, I don't care about getting hit. I don't try and dodge anything, because the game doesn't really punish you that much for getting hit. So it's like, fuck it. What do I care if I get hit? Yay, lots of whatever these are. Ma Mahjong pieces, Mahjong tiles. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> the game for a second was like, uh, dude... Over there. You caught a samurai sword. Neat. I caught one. Yeah, we're just flipping right through this game. And if you're into points, there's lots of points in this game. Um, I know that's kind of an antiquated and outdated notion, you know, po racking up points in a video game. Like, I've got high score, but... Uh, Really, it's how you get extra lives. That's how I see it. Like, that's how you level up in this game. It's how you get extra lives. 
So that's the incentive there. The more points you get, the more closer you are to leveling up and getting another life. Uh, there's nothing outdated about that. I did it. I destroyed the Traken. Congratulations. All right. <laughs> oh, there's all these creatures, and then there's a bear. What's that bear doing? Yeah, he's walking around. That's literally what he's doing. He's walking around. <laughs> he's minding his own business, being a bear. It's all these, like, gremlins and flying demons and locusts and all this shit. How is this guy only at level two? You know what? I'm going to ditch this guy. Whoa, dogs. Look out. I will not make the who let the dogs out joke. Let's get this guy back. Yeah, as I said, I'm not that familiar with this game. Oh, shit. That was a bad idea. I'm not that familiar with this game, so I'm probably getting a lot of stuff wrong, like the leveling system. I'm not even sure how that works entirely. Oh, boy. Now we're getting the early 90s Super Nintendo slowdown, and that's always fun. Oh, ouch. That was spectacularly dumb. All right. I think... Uh, wait. Let me get through this first. Fuck. The door's right over here, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's get this treasure, and we're going to call this an episode. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. God, this is pathetically slow. Okay. Let's climb some stairs first. Get a nice workout. There we go.